Hey everybody, today is June 28th and pups heard me talking, so here they come. A bunch of these pups are gonna be heading to their new families. So, we're excited for them. They're doing great. Hey pups, did you hear me talking? Yeah. I know, I know. I would give you love, but I'm holding the camera. So, pups are doing great. We just had um, all the remaining pups to the vet appointment today. And they all had their uh, first round of shots. So, everybody checked out great at the vet today. They're doing great. And we're looking forward to meeting some of their families. So a bunch of these pups are going home this week. And by way of information, when these pups were born, we had deposits and enough deposits for all these pups. And as we notified the families and let them know the pups were here, we had a couple of families tell us right up front that they needed to postpone getting a pup. Uh, there were several reasons, but uh, one family was expecting a new baby, actually more than one family, and uh, some others had some schedule changes with work, and so they didn't feel like it would be fair to the pup to bring him home and flop their schedule on him and not be able to give the new pup the time that they need. So right now, Mr. Orange, from Maple, right here, and Mr. Red, right here, are still awaiting a family to select them. So these are actually our two biggest pups out of everybody, and have been on the big side of things. So these guys, they're about eight and a half weeks old. Mr. Orange is like 15 pounds, Mr. Red, is 14 pounds so they are good healthy sized pups wonderful personalities and so we're excited to see which families uh, find out they're available and swoop in and snatch them up before somebody else does so wonderful dispositions from maples red and maples orange boys so you might see in this video, I may give them a little bit more screen time compared to some of the other pups because they need a little bit of extra attention and focus on them so that a couple of families can see more about them and see if they're a good fit. Now we do have two orange collar pups. Maples is the big boy, Ferns, orange collar boy is still a good sized boy he's just not as thick um, as maples so you can see them right here together maples boy is a little bit thicker ferns is just as tall just not quite as broad so if you see two orange collars running around you'll see maples is kind of bright orange and ferns is actually a dot color pattern and it's a little bit of a, not not quite as deep of an orange color. So, and Mr. Red, here he is, looking for some love. Miss Peach, hi. Maple's purple, hello. Looking for some loves, yes. And we got Ma uh, Ferns, Mr. Gray, and Ferns Pink up here. So a bunch of these pups, they're going to be heading to their new families here. So we hope you enjoy this playtime video of them all. Took them for a little ride to the vet. They did wonderful on that trip. And we got them home and settled in for a minute. And we had a little bit of time. And so put them in the back of the Honda in their crates. Gave them another little car ride to help conditioning them for automotive transport so that they will be a little bit more adventure ready for you when they go to your families. Hopefully these little rides 
with the big reward of a really fun play area. These guys love this up here. Help condition the pups to having a positive experience with car rides. So, something we're trying to do more of. And we're finding some benefits from that. We're getting good reports back from the families as we condition the pups to more experiences. So, Miss Peach, how are you? Hi, Miss Pink. Hi, Mr. Red. Miss Purple, hi. Ferns Orange, Mr. Gray, yes. Yes. Hi, pups. As you can see, these pups are very keen for their human attention and interaction. We really focus on spending a fair bit of time with the pups to help them be uh, very ready for their people interactions and obedience training with their new families. So. So the pups, they're not huge, but they're tall enough. I don't know if you can compare from the previous videos. They have figured out and can easily get up and down this little step out the railing. So they're much more capable. They're starting to get their visla legs and ears. Now that they're hitting that growth spurt, they're getting out of that pudgy, chuppy, uh, pudgy puppy phase and they're starting to look like teenagers. Get a little bit long and gangly. Very athletic and energetic. Super fun stage for them to be at. This is the stage of life where they're ready to start their obedience training. They're very, very smart and will pick up on obedience training from day one in your home. So these pups have a lot going for them with their genetics and their background. They're very smart. So we're excited to watch them grow with their new families. We like to keep in touch with them and get the reports back on how the potty training is going and how the training, obedience training is going. Some of the pups that have already gone home have reported back with great success stories with the potty training and how quick they are to pick up on the obedience training with sit and stay and learning to uh, potty train, doing well with their overnight success ratios with potty training. Very few accidents. So we have a strong initiative on providing these pups clean space so they maintain that clean instinct and want to leave to go potty instead of just go potty anywhere they are. So that really helps them to foster that potty training instinct with their new families. So these pups, like I mentioned, have been to the vet. Um, they also have their microchips done. So if you see a little spot in between their shoulder blades, that's because we just finished putting the microchips in this morning on all the remaining pups. So there will be a little scab in between their shoulder blades. And that'll go away soon. 
microchips are not big they're about the size of a small grain of rice and they go in almost effortlessly the pups hardly notice anything um, maybe a little spot of blood that's it so their microchips in and ready for their new families to register their contact information to it so that if they ever become lost the authorities can track them down faster so we'll just let the pups play here have a good time watch them run around it's a great afternoon to let them do this it's not super hot we've had some very warm afternoons but today is relatively mild So since Mr. Red and Mr. Orange get a little bit extra spotlight time, I'm going to hold them up side by side. Come here, Mr. Red. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Come here. So here we go. We've got Mr. Red right here and Mr. Orange. You can kind of see them side by side. They have some great personalities, very keen for people, affection and attention, and got great comments back from the vet staff today with the vet techs that were helping out. They both really enjoyed Mr. Orange and Mr. Red while they were there. And so we just think the world of them. Of course we are biased and I think you can't go wrong with any of our pups. But when it comes to choosing some pups, how can you get any cuter than this? So we just wanted to show them to you side by side and up close. Oh, Mr. Red's looking for some love. Yeah, do you want some hugs? I think you do. I think you do. Hi, Mr. Orange. Yeah, we'll give you some loves. So. Uh, let us know if you have any questions about these two and we'd be happy to talk more about the options with them So we hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll leave it at that until next time. Thanks <laughs>